All right, ladies and gents, handyman back again for part two on this uh, brake adjustment repair. Uh, like I said we got everything cleaned up. Uh, and like I said, it looks like the only thing that's holding this, this uh, we'll call it a, a shoe, whatever you want to call it, uh, on is this little keeper pin that was on the back side of that boat. Pull that out. As you can see, that opens right on up. Looks like we've got, I don't know if y'all can see that, about a quarter inch thick, a little bit more than an eight, about a quarter inch thick uh, of pad left. Like I said, um, well, brake band, yeah, that's uh, brain fart. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got left, about a quarter inch of uh, pad left on it. Like I said, never looked at one of these before. Uh, so, I don't know exactly how much of a pad it's supposed to have on it, but as you can see the condition of this mold with all this uh, gook and stuff under here that I'm gonna have to pressure wash, I'm gonna take that wheel back off again. Like I said, when I got my pressure washer around and clean all that stuff up a little bit as we go. But like you said, uh, for as long as they own this mower, I doubt very seriously that they change that anytime soon. So I could probably assume that it's at least double as thick as that especially with the slack that we've got in it but uh you can see all your linkages and stuff over here once you uh pull your handle up Let's see if i can move it. these mosquitoes i hear something terrible right now i had to grab me some spray put on but watch this lever here as we let it down and take the part break off well that's one thing uh, I see it didn't move it, because of the adjustment in here. So uh, it looks like when we pull up on the lever to put it, uh, the part break on, it's supposed to pick up that lever and turn and throwing this edge down, which, you know, tightens the belt down and uh, applies the brake pressure. So we're gonna have to take a look at this pair. I see an adjustment screw in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Adjustment screw on top. And this, there's another screw right here under the bottom. So I'm gonna see which one of those I actually have to uh, take loose and adjust to uh, get the result I'm trying to get. It doesn't look like, I see threads on the top side of that nut but I don't see any threads on the bottom side below that nut. So trying to adjust this nut down, I don't think it's gonna happen. Only thing I can probably do is adjust it upwards, uh, but I don't think that's gonna do any good. It doesn't look like it's gonna affect anything on this top side anyway. If we need to pick that lever up, it's gonna have to do something with this bottom side right there, which is actually gonna you know, tighten up and lift that up. That's where that gap came from. That needs to be up and it's got that big gap for some reason. So we're gonna see how we can get that adjusted. And uh, once we figure that out, we'll get back with you guys to uh, share with you the new information we found. And uh, you know, like I said, we'll get this thing figured out and squared away together. So y'all just be patient. Let me get a couple of tools together and see what's actually going on. And uh, we'll inform you of the results here in a minute. And the man out. 